Welcome to our channel, where we share everything you need to know about roofing. Today's topic is all about understanding roofing measurements, specifically the term roofing square. If you're planning to repair or replace your roof, it's important to understand this measurement term as it plays a crucial role in estimating the cost of your roofing project. In this video, we'll explain what a roofing square is and how it's used in the roofing industry. We'll also provide some tips to help you accurately measure your roof and estimate the cost of your roofing project. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit the Roofer website for more roofing insights. So, what exactly is a roofing square? A roofing square is a unit of measurement used by roofing contractors and manufacturers to estimate the amount of material needed for a roofing project. One roofing square is equal to 100 square feet or a 10 foot by 10 foot area. This unit of measurement helps standardize the way roofing materials are measured, making it easier for contractors and suppliers to estimate the cost of a roofing project. Now let's talk about how to measure a roof to determine the number of roofing squares needed for your project. The first step is to measure the length and width of each section of your roof. You can do this using a measuring tape, a laser measuring device, or by ordering a digital measurement report from Roofer. If hand measuring, be sure to measure the longest and widest points of each section to get an accurate measurement. Once you have the measurements, multiply the length by the width to get the total square footage of each section. Then divide the total square footage by 100 to determine the number of roofing squares needed for that section. Keep in mind that roofs aren't always a perfect square or rectangle. Some sections may have different shapes or angles, which can make measuring a bit more challenging. In this case, you can break the section down into smaller, more manageable areas and measure each one separately. You can then add up the total number of squares needed for each area to get the total number of squares needed for that section. Now let's talk about the cost of a roofing project. As we mentioned earlier, the number of roofing squares needed for a project is an important factor in determining the cost. The cost of materials and labor will vary depending on the type of roofing material used and the complexity of the project. According to industry data, the average cost per roofing square in the United States is around $300 to $400 per square. However, this can vary widely depending on the region and the specific materials used. In addition to the cost of materials and labor, other factors that can impact the cost of a roofing project include the pitch of the roof, the number of layers to be removed, and the need for repairs or reinforcements. It's important to get a detailed estimate from a qualified roofing contractor to ensure you have an accurate understanding of the total cost of your roofing project. In conclusion, understanding roofing measurements is an essential part of any roofing project. Knowing what a roofing square is and how to measure your roof accurately can help you estimate the cost of your project and ensure you have the right amount of materials on hand. If you're planning a roofing project, be sure to work with a qualified roofing contractor who can help you with the measurements and provide an accurate estimate of the cost. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell and visit the Roofer website for more helpful tips and insights on roofing measurements and all things roofing. Radford out.